You know a star has had a great career when he has generations of fans. Danny DeVito has taxi fans who watch the iconic show that premiered more than 40 years ago. He has movie fans from favorites like Ruthless People, Throw Mama from the Train, Twins, and L.A. Confidential. And he has fans more recently of the series It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Now, DeVito is winning over another generation as he plays ringleader Max Medici in the new live-action version of the Disney classic Dumbo, directed by Tim Burton. Danny and I got together for a Sunday sit-down to talk about that movie and his long career. We met in a bar here in New York where construction crews were working on a big, loud project overhead. We couldn't get them to stop, but luckily I was working with a seasoned professional, and we powered right through. So much fun doing Dumbo. I mean, it's like a beautiful thing. <laughs> See, I just, I just love to. Welcome that to New York. We are in New York. Yes. Okay, they're going to drill right through the ceiling. <laughs> the dust is already falling. Gonna be, <laughs> it's going to be particles. So, like, look at you back to Dumbo. Is it true that you, going way, way back, were a fan of Dumbo, like, oh. in your youth even? Oh, yeah. I saw it. I might have been 10. And whenever Dumbo came back, we would go see it. I got to say, I've seen it, like, at least 50 times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Over the years sure. with all three kids. You know how it is with kids. What are you going to do with them? You know, stick them on a Up couch, the them, get them a little food, whatever you're doing. You know, like, how's it going over there? <laughs> good, good. What's Dumbo doing now? You know, right. It's been nearly 80 years since the original iconic Dumbo first appeared. Animation technology has improved a bit since then, but the message remains the same. What is that? Dumbo's born, he's got these big ears, he's ostracized, people make fun of him and everything. All the themes of, like, uh, embracing the, the fact that we're all individuals, you know, and that we've got to take our whatever strengths we have, whatever we are, and be proud of who we are. Is that a monkey in your desk? Just for emergencies. I think you're absolutely right that part of the reason it's such a beloved movie is because we all have something about ourselves yeah, that absolutely. we think is the big ears. Yeah, like I, I would walk into a room. I was always the smallest person in the room, and I was always I, 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 it is kind of gruff, kind of like sensibility about me. If I walked into a bar, let me have a scotch and soda. The whole right. bar would look over at what's in the corner over there. The 74-year-old DeVito grew up in Asbury Park, New Jersey. After graduating from high school, DeVito, like many of us, didn't know what he wanted to do with his life. His older sister had an idea. I was cutting grass with a gardener down in Jersey, and she said, you should come to work for me in my beauty parlor. And I said, what are you, nuts? What, do, I, do I look like a beautician? Well, I don't know anything about it. I like girls. So she said, and I'll send you to the school down in Asbury. So all summer I dragged my feet, I didn't want to do it, and she forced me into the pin curl business. So uh, I did it, I went to the school, I walked up the stairs with my bag of tricks, and I turned the corner and in there were 35 young women my age, all wanting to be hairdressers. And I said, God, my prayers have been answered. <laughs> DeVito went on to study makeup at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City. It was there he caught the acting bug, leaving the curlers and brushes behind for good. In 1967, DeVito moved to Los Angeles, hoping to land a role in the movie version of the Truman Capote classic in Cold Blood. He struck out and eventually moved back east. If you believe in twists of fate, Danny, you came back from L.A. because it wasn't working out there. Yeah. You came back and met your wife, right? I in met her in nineteen seventy. Yeah. That early seventies was great. You know all the, you know all the ups and downs and all the, you know auditioning. Rhea was working as a waitress. If you were off Broadway, you were making sixty eight dollars a week. But the, you got to look at it in perspective because the rent was like, right. you know, fifty two dollars a right. month. Right. You know? right. All of that auditioning paid off. In 1975, DeVito was cast in the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest with Jack Nicholson. You didn't make a bet, Martini. I can't hit you. After playing the same role in an off-Broadway production. Hit me. 
The movie won all five major Academy Awards, including Best Picture, and it put DeVito on the Hollywood map. You've got to get that good fortune, that lucky part that comes from out of the blue. The life-changing lucky part came in 1978, when DeVito was cast as the cantankerous Louis De Palma in the sitcom Taxi. Don't wait over there, I'll call your name and number. Till then, keep your mouth shut. The show ran for five seasons and earned DeVito an Emmy for Best Supporting Actor in a Comedy. His real-life girlfriend, Rhea Perlman, played his TV girlfriend on the show. DeVito and Perlman married in 1982. They have three children. Taxi was like a gift. When the thing comes along, you, uh, you know, you're ready for it and you embrace it and do it. There's a guy upstairs yeah. drilling his way to who knows what, and any minute he's going to fall through. But the idea is we're doing the interview anyway. That's can right. Do. But in Taxi, not only you get your break, but you get the lead in a show that goes on to become this iconic Well, you know, actually, deal. they wrote Taxi, they are Louie as a voice coming over the... PA oh. system yelling at the cabbies. It was a good one. It really worked out good. Is that right? The success of Taxi launched DeVito into movies like Terms of Endearment. I appreciate any advice you can give me. Don't talk with your mouthfuls right now. I'm Romancing the Stone. This kidnapping stuff makes me real nervous. Wow. And Batman Returns, where he famously played the Penguin. DeVito has appeared in more than 80 movies, but in 2006, he returned to television as master manipulator Frank Reynolds on the FXX show, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Hello. now in its 13th Hello. season. On go Goblogian, the art collector. When you look at the guy who was in the beauty salon in New Jersey to today, do you think? Cool, man. He pretty lucky guy now? Pretty lo way lucky guy. No, you gotta, you know, it's gotta, I don't know why I'm looking up, because I don't believe drilling. in God. But the thing is, that I'm looking up at the drilling. You got to look at the drilling guy for, for graces to shine on you. <laughs> An interview with constant jackhammering overhead could have been a disaster, but Danny did not flinch. That man is a pro. Our thanks to the ship here in New York for hosting our conversation. I assure you, it's much quieter when you visit. Dumbo is in theaters now. To hear Danny talk about the unique genius of his old friend, Dumbo director Tim Burton, check out our web extras at today.com slash Sunday. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the entire unedited interview with Danny DeVito. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours.